Hello, I'm here at Embedded World 2025 and I'm on the DigiKey stand to talk with Tim Beach, who is the Director of Business Development at Landtronics. And today we're going to be talking about Landtronics' system on modules and development kits. So thanks very much for joining us, Tim. Why don't you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Tim Beach. I'm the Director of Business Development at Landtronics. And uh, I've been there for about six years now. And uh, I focus on uh, our SOM business as well as our relationship with Qualcomm. Fantastic. And tell us a bit about the company as well. Give us an introduction to that. So Landtronics is a company focused on uh, the business of connect and compute. So we take technology that's available in the market today and we build devices that allow customers to not only connect to the edge, connect their devices at the edge, but also perform compute actions on the edge as well. Fantastic. So tell us a little bit about the company's SOMs and dev kits and how they support embedded development. So we build a complete line of uh, systems on modules or SOMs that are production ready modules that customers can take and integrate those into their products as the compute platform for the product. We sell dev kits to go along with those so the customers can get a start when they get the time, they have something to plug it into, mm -hmm. and start testing, and start doing development. Uh, and uh, so that's, we offer a full line of Qualcomm SOMs. Yeah, and so say you've mentioned Qualcomm, so you know you, inter you integrate Qualcomm technology into your SOMs and dev kits, but, but why do you choose Qualcomm technology? What benefits does that bring? I think it's a great question. I think the reason we like Qualcomm is because Qualcomm brings the best of breed as far as low power consumption, but high powered processors to the market. And at the edge where customers are using a lot of solar power, using a lot of batteries to run devices, low power consumption and powerful computing and AI are important uh, for those customers, but they can't have a huge power consumption module. Mm -hmm. and, and what services do you offer to support your customers in product development? So in, in our, our, our corporate offices, we offer uh, engineering services uh, everything from uh, design specification all the way through new product introduction. That includes hardware, software design, uh, certification testing, all kinds of testing to support our customers. We expect to meet our customers where they're at. So a lot of these services our customers might provide for themselves. We just fill in the gaps for the customer where they need uh, to get to production. And I'm interested interested to hear what, what markets and applications are typical for your products and, and what you're seeing as sort of the market trends at the minute. Yeah, so what we see right now is a big market trend is obviously uh, AI. You know, AI at the edge has become so important in multiple verticals. The verticals we focus in are mostly industrial IoT okay. uh, markets, so more hardened devices, uh, more ruggedized devices, uh, and with extended temperature ranges. And those markets are, are, are rapidly adopting AI as part of their uh, ecosystem uh, requirements. And, uh, and so we're taking the lead in some products uh, to bring AI into those markets very quickly uh, with some off-the-shelf products as well as our songs. Mm. And AI is a very popular topic here at Embedded Well this week. So I'm interested as to how you see yourself, you know, how do you differentiate yourself from your competitors out there? So first of all, our engineering services are very, we have a very, uh, 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 a full team of engineering services providers that we can use to help customers. Uh, we have an AI team that's focused completely on AI. They develop software. In fact, uh, we uh, are providing some software for Qualcomm for their AI hub. Uh, and, uh, and then finally, we're a North America-based company, so all of our products and our services are TAA compliant, mm -hmm. which is very important. It's particularly important in North America. It's becoming more important in Europe as well, as customers are concerned about Chinese content in their, in their, uh, in their products. Uh, we can give them a fully certified TAA compliant product. And obviously, you know, we've mentioned AI and you've mentioned edge AI, but, but what other trends are you seeing in the embedded computing space at the moment? And how is Landtronics responding to that? So there's, there's a, a, there's a, there seems to be a quest for more computing at the edge, more power at the edge. In the beginning, it was mostly a lot of uh, rudimentary computing, but now we're seeing a demand for, uh, as, as more devices move to the edge, uh, more devices connect from the edge, there's a, a much greater need to kind of push that compute all the way out to the edge. So not only is there AI there that's important, but also that, that mainstream compute factor is very important at the edge. And do you have any upcoming product launches or news announcements you can share with us? Yeah, so we're going to launch, uh, this week we're going to launch the, our new uh, 8550 SOM based on the Qualcomm 8550 chipset. We have a webinar on uh, May 27th uh, and uh, to launch that product. So it's going to launch on May 27th. Uh, and there'll be dev kits available. This product is going to be a great product because it's going to have 
uh, a lot of camera interfaces, a lot of capability in AI, and a super powerful compute package, but at a very low power consumption, under 10 watts. Fantastic. And can people register for the webinar now? Is it on the Lantronics website? Yes, if you go to our Lantronics website, you can find the link to register. Uh, if you're not, uh, send an email to sales at lantronics.com. We'll get you connected to the webinar. Fantastic. And finally then, Tim, why should customers choose Lantronics? I think we offer a, pool, a broad portfolio of not only hardware solutions, but software. We see ourselves as a solutions company, meaning we try to develop as much of the solution as we can without overstepping our bounds with our customers. So we, we create uh, production-ready packages that are ready for customers. But we can do things all the way through uh, new product introduction and actually building for customers. So we offer a full line of services uh, that's unusual in our market for a, custom, for a, a company like us. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your insight and sharing the new product announcement. It's been a real pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much. Appreciate thank the you. time.